Something happened to me recently. I knew in April, <clears throat> because I haven't traveled internationally like uh, I used to do uh, nonstop, and I knew I needed to get out of the U.S. and look back. I knew I could go. I had plenty of invitations, but I didn't want to go just to minister. I wanted to go and hear the Lord. And so I thought, well, I guess I could go to Mexico, but the last time I went there, they had to get me out at 3 in the morning to keep the cartel from doing something. So I don't really want to deal with that. And so I had... It had been years since I'd been to the Bahamas. So I said, you know, that's not far. We'll just, I'll fly to the Bahamas. And I'll seek the Lord there for three days. See, there comes a time where the Lord just pulls you aside to seek him. And while I was there, I began to go out on this boat. And I got to a place, Aaron, if you'll show we were out and we got to this place and all of a sudden there was this island there. And this is what it looked like. And the guy that was with us said, when the slave ships would come, they would stop and they would unload the slaves at this island. And it had a little still old structure in it and they would go in and register the slaves, and they, they would disperse slavery and, and sell people all over America. And so I'm looking at that thinking that small piece of land changed the course of this nation. What went on that land affected this nation. And I said, Lord, that is so amazing to me. And then all of a sudden, the Lord opened up the heavens. And this is what I saw. All of a sudden, I'm looking at that one island, and this is really what it looked like from heaven. The Lord said, I determined lots of warfare would come. I knew that what would happen on that piece of land would change the course of the world. But I was still overseeing that land with my glory. And what happened on that land, my glory realm has now been dispersed into the nations around the world. Now, see, all of a sudden, God said, this is what it looked like from heaven. Not what it looked like from the ship. Not what it looked like from even those that were abusers. Not what it looked like from those who were victims. He said, I was overwatching this piece of land to change the course of the world in days ahead. And all of a sudden, the reality of the moment we're living in hit me. How things that, histories that we've been in, things that have been pioneered, how all of a sudden God's going to show us in a moment what he had been doing all along for years. And things are just going to change before our eyes. And so I started asking the Lord about the glory. I said, Lord, what are you saying? Something reality. Uh, you know, We've taught all over the world. You can teach on the glory. I said, Lord, I want to know the reality of what you're saying to us today about the glory. And the Lord began to speak to me. Let me share a couple of things with you. He said, you are headed into the greatest presence and glory war 
that the world has known. The atmosphere is pregnant with my glory. The earth is resisting the glory that will produce fullness. And all of a sudden I saw the war. I saw the kingdom war. I saw us in the midst midst of it. And I saw what we sing about coming into an overcoming triumphant place really starting to happen. Now I am here to announce tonight, get ready, that glory that's in you, that you carry, that you're looking for, what you've been assigned to do, that glory is getting ready to break forth out of you. See, when we moved to Global Sphere Center, the Lord didn't tell us to just bring and keep the church moving. He told us to return to the garden. He said, only by returning to the garden and preparing it and entering in to the garden the way I started you from the garden will you really understand what I'm doing this season. So, you know, in the worst heat of Texas in 100 years, I think it was, we make this move and that place has sat there for 12 years desolate And we looked out there and I said to my wife, who Pam, who's a horticulturist, I said, you, God wants a garden. And I said, he wants it to look like what what Jane was saying earlier tonight, Israel, if Israel blossomed, every tribe, if Israel was restored. And of course I saw the look on her face and went because the place was desolate and had set desolate for 12 years and all of a sudden God began to move. In the drought, he would have us for seven days go pray right in the center of where the garden was being, the word of God says he built a garden, being built. And as we would pray and as we would worship, rain would come down only on that garden. Wouldn't even come down around the building. And the Lord said, see, by returning to the garden, I'm teaching you how to pray and open the heavens again. See, so it all began, and then you have to remember everything about embracing the glory realm had to do with, in that garden, his glory just dwelt. 